Hey, what's up guys? Today I am going to show you how to speed up your Xbox One dashboard. Uh, now this is an issue I ran into probably about know, a week or so ago. Uh, I just got onto my Xbox and for the past few days it had been just really slow, really laggy. Um, and now I don't mean my games, I just mean the menu, like the dashboard itself. Uh, so once I was able to get into the games, everything ran fine. I mean the internet ran fine. So I knew that it wasn't the games, it wasn't my internet connection, it was just something with the dashboard. So I contacted Xbox and they just told me that I needed to delete a few of the settings that are inside the Xbox. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. Uh, so what you want to do is just hit your Xbox button, go to your main menu which is where I'm at now, go over, I'm going to go to our little settings tab, hit all settings. Now, first, let's make our way down to disk and Blu-ray. We're going to choose Blu-ray. Go to the persistent storage. And we're going to clear the persistent storage. Now, when you clear the persistent storage, it's not going to show you any type of message at all. It just goes back to this screen here. Um, so, nothing to do past that. That's step one. Now, step two, we're going to make our way up to network. Go to your network settings. Advanced settings alternate MAC address and then from here we're going to clear now it says your console must restart so I'm not going to be able to do that now since I am streaming to my Windows computer um, so you would go through you would hit the restart it would completely clear the Mac what is it alternate MAC address for you um, and then past that once it restarts back up you're gonna be back at your main screen and everything's going to appear fine I mean it shouldn't be lagging any further at this point uh, but they said that step three of this change is going to be just to do a hard reset on your console. Uh, now some people do that by unplugging the brick or whatever it may be. Uh, but they did instruct me to hold the Xbox button on the front of the Xbox for five to ten seconds until it just shuts off on its own. Give it 30 seconds or so after it's turned off. Restart it back up and you are good to go. Um, now I did not think it was going to be that quick of a fix, especially dealing with the Xbox uh, online support. I mean, there wasn't even any phone numbers. I had to go through a chat. Uh, so this video should make it a little bit easier and quicker for you to be able to figure this out because usually the first place I go is online as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe I'll come back with a couple more tutorial videos like how to stream onto your Windows. Uh, we'll see. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed.